All right, probably my biggest gripe right now, outside of not being able to adjust the chops in this thing, uh, um, the way it should be, if, you set, if you're gonna set chops, it'd be nice to be able to go in and just at least be able to manually adjust each one. So outside of that, my biggest gripe right now is I can't record in while it's playing. And that's hard for me because I am more of a player than I am a sampler. Although I do sample too, which this right here is a sample, another part to that. And then this is a hat I added in just to thicken the sound a little bit. So I, I mean, obviously I'm, I'm gonna turn that down a little bit too. It still, it still seems loud. Okay, so I want to be able to, that's the drums. This is the, uh, my little textural sample, right? And then that sample. Shift exit, just like on the SP404, stops it if you need to stop a sample. So you hit it, shift exit, by the way. Uh, but my problem is I want to be able to play simple chord progressions in or play like if I want to loop something that I do personally or my bass line, like I was going to use a bass app on the phone. You guys uh, know about bass one. If you don't, that's the only app on iPhone. Unless you, unless you're talking about 808 bass or synth bass, it's the only app that sound that has a real, in my opinion, bass. It's called I fretless bass. Let me see. Let me plug it in, and you can at least hear it, right? Let me make sure the MIDI off is on in here, because all inputs, yeah, that won't work. We'll go none, because otherwise it'll, we'll go none, the MIDI. I don't want the MIDI uh, messing up with the. So I love being able to use that upright sound in here, it's, not, it's probably the better one of the of the ones. The jazz bass is okay. I like that. So, So like that, I want to be able to just record that while I'm playing, while this is going, I could just press a pad or hit sample, hit a pad or something like that, then arm the track to start. Now you can do all this in um, in the SP404, it's pretty easy, but I think it could be easy. I mean, here, if, you, if they would let you do sample, when you hit sample, if there's a free pad, hit the pad, right, that you want to sample maybe put it on standby and then hit the play and then let it just count in like a you know one two three four and then start playing with it so anyway i want to be able to do that because then i can take my phone this works on the iphone also and i can do like little simple bass runs on the phone which I'd be fine with. And then I just send all these parts out to Koala to sequence the full song because you only got four bars in here, so you're kind of limited. But it would at least give me a starting point to be able to do that. So that's my hopes, is that they in the next update, they'll do a few things. One, let me be able to play while I sample in. Um, obviously, I would love to use the sample rate on here to pass audio through in a lower sample rate. So we just play stuff and let it go through. Then you get more out of this uh, sampler uh, other than just sampling in. Um, and then the last thing, I think I mentioned this already before, um, is the sample chops. You gotta be able to adjust, yeah, I mentioned it. So the sample chops, you gotta be able to adjust sample chops 
if you're not going to give us like um you know some type of threshold chopping this equal chopping thing is okay um lazy chop would be kind of cool if they could do it you got a keyboard down here so there's got to be you know turn it into lazy chop and then you can like just chop the samples while it while the sample plays or something just to make it easier to um to use the stuff but the problem I have with the chopping is even after I get it set up, I can't go back and just sequence the chops. I got to play the chops. That's the only way. And it's not that I don't want to play them, but sometimes I just want to sequence it. I like the idea of having a sequence, right? Anyway, it is what it is. All right, so that's it for this video. Just wanted to talk about my little gripes. It's not huge. It's not impossible to make music on here. You can really do some good music on here. Um, check out Rephaser's uh, channel, R-E-P-H-A-Z-E-R. -E -E um, he does kind of like an IDM slash ambient slash, I don't know what else to call it, but that's the kind of music I think it is. But he, do, he did a whole session where he showed, where he's record, playing his songs that he just put an album out on Bandcamp using this that's what he did this and then he has his little um teen teenage engineering mixer the little tx6 so check him out i like his music i mean it's different it's not your typical boom bap lo-fi but he's doing like a lo-fi idm ambient and i think it's just really cool to see somebody doing something different on it and yet the fact that he did a whole album with this is super intriguing to me because it's a different world for me than playing with, you know, just being on the computer where I have more freedom. I can easily record um, my songs a lot better. But anyway, just wanted to talk about that a little bit. I'm using the iPad, which is nice to see because I don't use it often. So it's kind of cool. All right, guys. Until the next one, I'm out.